assalamu alaikum most important questions in pathophysiology and my dear brothers and sisters so these questions are enough to clear your pathophysiology subject okay if you are having back in the subject of patho means by observing this video very important video i have given many pathogenesis here means in your syllabus there are many pathogenesis many pathophysiology symptoms clinical aspects but here by following this uh scheduled ppt for you i have prepared just you practice this inshallah from this only in your tomorrow's examination will be asked no more extra questions just practice this and get a good marks and also you can pass your examination and two marks questions with these are mandatory you have to practice the two marks also let's start uh, the first we will discuss about 10 marks explain etiology pathogenesis and morphology of reversible cell injury irreversible cell injury see a previous year in the year 2021 they have asked a reversible cell injury but this time maybe they will ask irreversible cell injury inshallah but you practice both here first you have to write what is this cell injury then you have to write types of the cell injury and some of the morphology then etiology pathogenesis causes symptoms everything you have to maintain in a clean way okay and one more important thing my dear brothers and sisters so pathophysiology students so those who are writing the examination tomorrow okay tomorrow you join the today's meeting evening at 7:35 pm okay because in that meeting uh, live session uh, i will discussing how to write the pathophysiology paper okay how to write uh, accurate answer they will ask only pathogenesis of gout pathogenesis of thyroid okay then how to write that pathogenesis what content we have to fill everything will be discussed inshallah in today's live session so please don't miss that live session okay very important live session that is here from here you take the questions and from there we will discuss about the live session everyone those who are in pharmacy those who are having backlogs and those who are writing the examination in patho you have to observe that video then next question define angina pectoris and then briefly discuss types and pathogenesis of angina it is also very important question you have to write what is this angina pectoris basically it is the cardiac disease the vascular disease then you have to write the types of this angina pectoris and uh, you have to write the pathogenesis then symptoms then causes complications diagnosis if they ask for 10 marks means you have to write all of these then write in detail the vascular events okay vascular events involved in the process of inflammation which vascular events are there means first you have to write what is this inflammation then types of inflammation like acute and chronic inflammation then you have to write mechanism of inflammation after that vascular events you have to maintain okay which chemical mediators are present uh, during inflammation like nitric oxide uh, hydrogen peroxide means free radicals uh, everything you have to write down next explain etiology pathogenesis of alzheimer disease then uh, alzheimer disease parkinson disease epilepsy schizophrenia from these four type of the central nervous system disorders one is fixed okay sometimes they will ask write a note on central nervous system explain one disease okay then next one is define metabolic disorder metabolic disorder means here metabolism is nothing but the uh, the disorder of anabolism and catabolism means on, on the process of a breakdown now see the main process of the liver is to break down the glycogen the means to break down the uh, to store the glycogen to score the glucose in the form of the glycogen okay now that glycogen should be converted to the glucose by the liver this all metabolic processes okay now what happens in the diabetes mellitus you have to write it down there pathogenesis very important in the year 2021 this question was asked that only i will discuss in the evening classes yes next let's discuss about uh, uh five mark very very important question so list out the chemical mediators and the role in the process of inflammation see these only chemical mediators first you have to write what is this inflammation just to give types simple types acute and chronic after that to write the chemical mediators and the role what the role in the of that chemical mediators in the inflammation you have to write it down that is important here then pathogenesis and clin- clinical symptoms of asthma tuberculosis and copd means they will ask anyone like asthma they will ask or tb tuberculosis or copd pathogenesis is fixed pathogenesis and pathophysiology both are same if they ask pathogenesis you write the same if they ask pathophysiology you write the same with that the definition is very important now see they will ask pathogenesis and clinical symptoms of asthma first you write what is this asthma you know that asthma is the lung disease okay main cause of the asthma is smoking 
this you have to mention there okay lung disease alveolar disease then you have to give symptoms causes then pathogenesis causes and etiology both are same then tuberculosis you have to write what is this tuberculosis bio bacteria by which bacteria this tb will uh, be occurs in copd okay copd you have to write down it is also on type of the pulmonary disease explain the pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis gout typhoid hypertension renal failure stroke leprosy goiter then uh, atherosclerosis ischemic heart disease okay ischemic heart disease uh, myocardial infraction then uh, this one hypertension these all are means they having a similar characteristics pathophysiology uh, for these three means basically for angina pectoris what i am telling no ha huh. these all are having a same uh, relation with that coordination is there in angina pectoris uh, in uh, myocardial infraction ischemic heart disease atherosclerosis uh, hypertension if you write any one from that means you will get the marks you don't worry okay just you mention this hypo uh, ischemic heart disease ischemic means what happens hypoxia means oxygen is not uh, supplied to the heart this uh, important thing you have to maintain there then atherosclerosis means hardening of the vessels blood vessels due to the deposition of the plague okay due to that what happens the blood cannot be reached towards the other parts of the body if blood not reach means oxygen is not reached if oxygen not reach means that causes to ischemic heart disease means they are relating to each other clear then explain pathophysiology of aids hepatitis b and syphilis hepatitis sometimes they will ask hepatitis only and sometimes they will ask hepatitis a and b clear then syphilis it is also very important aids also very important disease then uh, liver alcoholism this is also they may ask pathogenesis of inflammatory bowel disease peptic ulcer and chronic inflammation very important inflammatory bowel disease then peptic ulcer some uh, once this peptic ulcer asked for 10 marks see what is the difference in 10 and 5 marks means just you have to elaborate the answer in 10 mark same in 5 marks you are not writing the complications there not writing the risk factors there but in 10 marks you have to include that uh, risk factors complications then diagnosis uh, diagnostic techniques means how can you diagnose that particular disease and at last if you know some treatment medicine means you can write in, write it down this is a characteristic to write for the 10 mark okay now let's discuss about the next one is difference between intrinsic and extrinsic asthma see asthma having two classification was the intrinsic asthma and extrinsic asthma you have to write it down then positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia many time this question was repeated in your previous examination positive and negative symptom these are the type symptomatic types of this schizophrenia schizophrenia is also a central nervous system disorder schizophrenia epilepsy alzheimer parkinson okay these all are the seizures seizures and epilepsy seizures these are the type of the epilepsy explain sequen uh, sequential stages stages in chemical carcinogenesis okay very important on behalf of the cancer it is also very important or sometimes they will give write a note on cancer you have to write a note on cancer means first you write what is this cancer then types of the cancer write the chemical carcinogenesis stages then what is healing by secondary intent intention healing by secondary intention is nothing but what happens my dear brothers and sisters if the wound is there no that wound gets automatically or naturally healed naturally healing process after the burst of that wound see this is the wound after that burst of that wound that wound get stitches naturally stitches naturally this type of intention is known as a secondary intention now these are phases inflammatory phase pro uh, then pro proliferative phase a maturation phase these we have to write it down very important phases yes my dear brothers and sisters these are the very important questions in uh, nine five mark questions uh, and only five ten mark questions means nine five mark questions means in this particular one question i have uh, i have write given two to three questions there sometimes i have given five to six questions in only a single question so approximately you practice these at much okay these is the borderline to pass with these you have to go for two marks so very important okay two marks questions already i have uploaded uh, two marks questions in my playlist that is of the second semester two marks important questions okay i will add inshallah in the description of this video you can go and download that thank you assalam alaikum